Hello, hello, Italia. La, 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 la. Radio Popolo. Okay, ready? I would climb up to the moon for you I would ride the wind to get through I would say a little cities for you But you don't care I would turn my tongue to talk to you. Sea and Air was born um, a long time ago when we met, right? Yeah, we met when I was sleepwalking and one night, and uh, somehow I didn't find my way back home. So Daniel saw me and guided me back home but maybe he can tell you more because I can't remember, of course. Yeah, I saw her on the street. We live in a very small village in the mountains of Germany. And I saw her walking down the street, a little bit weird, but very peaceful. So I thought maybe I will ask her if everything is all right. She said, yes, everything is all right. And I said, where do you live? She told me the address. so I realized she must be sleepwalking or something so I just guided her home and of course that's how I remembered her and that's how we met. Well the first question Daniel asked me was like can you sing and I was like no but maybe I can scream so uh, we got into this rehearsal room and we started a punk rock band me screaming and Daniel on um, playing the drums, so that's how we started doing music together. Yeah, Twelve that... years later, or eleven years later, CNR was born, but before that we had a lot of other projects going on. So yeah, CNR means, well basically it has two meanings. The one is in German it means, uh, C means she, air means he, so it's C and air, you know, she and he. And also it has to do with the funny fact that I am rather afraid of swimming in the ocean and she's afraid of flying. There is a beginning, a brittle path to a broken heart. Failing is never a problem, but who's gonna catch me? If I fall I would describe our music as a melodic, atmospheric pop music like you've never heard it before. What we do live is we play many instruments at the same time. And actually, you want to tell us why we did that. Well, first of all, well, before that we had a band, but then we didn't have <laughs> enough money, you know, to feed the band as well. So we thought maybe it's easier just the two of us playing several instruments and then, you know, we can save a lot of money with it. So that was one point. And the other one was? That it's something that I've always wanted to do because I was playing drums and I thought if you can play four instruments at the same time that make boom boom shaka beat, you know, then I can also do a guitar here, keyboard here and drums with the feet or whatever. You don't play keyboard. Maybe one day. Okay. For 
recording, we usually, um, there's no recipe for it because we found out that we don't like regular studios at all because you have to be good at a certain point and our music is magical music, you know? And it's not perfect music. It's not perfect music and sometimes the magic comes late at night at two o'clock and she knows she can always wake me up when she feels it and vice versa, right? But <laughs> can you ever call a sound guy in the night at Come 2 o'clock? Now, now, now's the time. Can no, I call can't. him and be like, oh, I've got a good shoot, you know, wake up. I can't do that because he will say, fuck you. <laughs> and that's why. He's not French, he wouldn't say fuck you. He would say, fuck you. <laughs> right. <laughs> and um, so in the end, we decided um, instead of spending thousands of euros to uh, go to studio, we just bought our own stuff and we can record at home. Yeah, in the we attic bought some, actually. Yeah, we bought some old stuff, you know, like equipment from back in the days when it was still good. And now we can do whatever we want. You never look, you never listen. You never talk, you don't care about me. You never look, you never listen. Main characters of our new album, My Heart's Sick Chord, is um, on the one hand the harpsichord, which is the clavicembalo in English. Mm, the harpsichord. And now listen, My Heart's Sick Chord. Harpsichord, do you get the message? <laughs> right, and then uh, you know it, it. That was one of the restrictions that we had to record a pop album with a very old instrument. The second idea behind my heart sick chord is that I always wanted to write a lyri lyrically an album about uh, the dark corners that everyone has inside, in the soul or Some in the got heart. More ones, other ones. Yeah. But ev everyone's got some and nobody, some people take years to find them, you know? And I went through a hard time a few years ago that made me think about this a lot. But then also I got over it. So I'm, I was thinking it would be good to write something positive about something negative, you know? And that's what we did. You are greater than the universe You are brighter than the sun You are deeper than the sea You are love A lot of things inspire me. Sometimes I have to, I just sit on a park bench and watch people and they inspire me and sometimes I read a book some, and often it's music. Uh, musically it would be um, Bach for his melodies and U2 for the good many good pop songs they wrote. Well musically spoken that would be uh, Dead Can Dance because um, they also use um, uh, really weird instruments that uh, they're not normal for pop music, but they use them. So we use the harpsichord for pop music, so maybe that's a similar thing. And also I really like Kate Bush, because um, in the past she mixed the dance with music, and I think maybe the, there will be a development of sea and air, which, where dance will have a bigger part. So, yeah. Right now we're on a tour of uh, 500 concerts in two years. That's the state we're in and we're promoting the new album. And since we believe that this album is like a, a very strong album, but it's not like you hear it right away and you like it and then after 10 times it's boring. It's more like after 10 times it gets better and better. So we decided we're going to tour a lot with this to show everyone, to give people the chance to listen over and over and then Till they're day, fed up. Right. You have to, a lot to expect from us in the future. We will change all the time and become even better and also worse at one point maybe when we're old and 
fat and then better again like all the good bands so yeah there will be us with the band us without a band and then but it will always one day one there. of us will die and the other one will go on alone you know it will all happen <laughs> right i don't want to talk about this right now <laughs>